Yo guys, you must have seen my videos from this thing where I've been jumping it off at cliffs and jumping it 40 foot in the air at the BMX track and at skate parks and, and, it's, and it's not really breaking that much. And you must have been thinking, why is it not breaking? Well, the secret's in here. Drum roll please. Are you ready? Again, right, drum roll, are you ready? This is it guys. Oh, this muck off, 94, WD-40 works as well. And you're thinking, what the hell has that got to do with the X-Packs not breaking? Well, standard parts, or any other plastic parts, they're quite, sort of, I don't know, they've got some flex in them, but they're quite brittle. What that means is when it, when it takes a hard hit, it can it can break and smash a bit off. So you need a way to make this a little bit softer. It's what RPM do with their arms. I use softer plastic, which is why most of the time, they, well, on this by the way, X Max arms aren't any good. But on most other stuff, RPM arms are really good. So what you do, you get your muck off or your, your WD forty, both works. You just spray it on. And by the way, you can do that with it attached to the truck. You can just cover the whole truck. And just leave that on overnight. And what you'll find is that a lot of that stuff will, will seep into the plastic, because the plastic's porous. It's a bit like a sponge. And where this stuff goes into the plastic, I don't know how, I don't know the science behind it or anything, but what it does, it just makes the plastic a lot softer. And you'll see like this in, in the morning, that's gonna be a lot, a lot more flexible than what it is now. But the only downside for when you're doing this not on the X-Max anyway, he's going to get more flex. And the problem, what happens, is that these pins pop out a lot more. Oh! Which is it's better, a lot of the time, than, than smashing the arm up, because you can just take the little screw out the side and just put your pin back in, and you back off fashion again. But what a lot of the guys do with the RPM arms, they put these on. I mean, this wasn't my idea, by the way. I nicked this idea with somebody else. I can't remember, can't remember who. But they put these in instead, and what that does, it just, just got a, a nut and a bolt, it pins the two together. What that does, it stops, stops it all flying apart. So I'm going to fit these onto here now. I've already done this. Every time I clean it, I spray this stuff on. So it's got so much of that in the plastic now. That's why it doesn't really break. It just takes such a beating. Right, so I'm going to start off doing the mod on this one here. <laughs> right, so the pins that we're going to replace are the top and the bottom and also the inner ones here at the top. Right, so that's that pin. And it should be the perfect size to fit straight through there. But, the only thing is, is in here, it'll go through that so far until it gets to the bit where it backs out on the end. So we've got to drill this, that part out. And what you want for that, guys, is a four millimeter drill bit. So just get your drill bit and just drill straight through the top arm. Right, you don't want to be doing these up too tight because what's going to happen is that it will bind up and you're going to restrict the suspension movement. On the top inner one, you don't have to drill it out. You just remove this little screw on the side here. See how flexible these are? It's got so much flex in there. A standard one would never have that. Even the bottom arm. Look how much flex is in there. That's why it ain't breaking, guys. That's why when people fit alloy arms, guys always ask me, do you fit alloy stuff? No. Definitely not. If you fit alloy arms, there's no flex, and that's going to be solid. And what, what all you're going to do is just end up ripping out the bulkhead. And so definitely I'd stay away from alloy as much as you can, especially on an X-Max. You know, something this big, you want it to give. You want stuff to flex and then sort of flex back. I mean, the only exception, maybe, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't comment. I would possibly put on alloy hubs, front and rear. I might, I might put them on. You know, if they've done alloy bulkhead, possibly, but arms... 100% never ever fit alloy arms, like ever. I mean, unless you want it to look nice. If you like the look of it, then fine. 
But if you want to go out beating on it, don't fit at high arms, guys. That's just my take on it anyway. Other people have a different opinion, which is fine. That's what makes this hobby so great. Ever you can do what you like. You know, whatever, whatever you find, you know, whatever puts the biggest grin on your face, that's the right way to do it. And for me, the biggest grin puts it on when I can air this thing out and it takes the abuse. And I'm, and I'm not wrenching all the time when I'm out bashing. So this top one, a little bit too long. I mean, I suppose you can trim that out if you really wanted to. Put a washer on there just to um, take away that, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I mean, as long as that's, that's just gonna, it might even be better. I might give it a little bit of flex and not break it, maybe, I don't know. That's what, you know, that's what I've got to do, is just test it out and see. So when you're hitting stuff, that's, energy's got to go somewhere. If you start putting alloy on there, the energy's got to go somewhere else. And if it's not going to break your arms or not flex your arms, it's going to just put all that energy, it's going to go into your chassis and destroy something in here, which is a lot harder to fix. Right, actually guys, on the front here, I'm going to take it out again. Because it's never really popped out on the front that much. And look, when you steer, it hits on this bowl here. So I'm going to have to take that one out again. I'll do the lower one, that one's fine. And you can probably do this one up here as well. Oh, shouldn't get in the way anywhere. But to be honest, I don't really, the fronts don't really seem to pop out as much. It's just the back. All right, I hope you like that video, guys, and I hope that will help some of you guys out as well. I mean, when you get to the next day, and if you've still got some residue in there where it's not all of it's gone in, just give it a wipe off, and just use your truck like normal, and you'll just see how much stronger this thing's going to be. It's going to take so much more of a beating. Now forget all that alloy rubbish. I mean, that's people just trying to sell you it and trying to make loads of money. But it's just, you know, if you want to put it on there because it looks nice, fair enough, put it on. But if you put it on there for strength, forget it, guys. I mean, this is the way to go. All right, guys, see you soon. I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you bang that bell button because every time I put a new video up, then you'll be notified. And yeah, all right, guys, see you soon. Yeah.